well, one of my um, my instructors, I think at at, at UCI, um, said, you know, there are a couple of poets who are coming in from San Francisco, and uh, do you have room in your house to, you know, to put them up? Because he he didn't have he had asked them to come, but he didn't have enough money to put them up in the hotel, and. Uh, and so I said, well, sure, they, they don't mind sleeping in a, on a day bed, you know, in the living room. And so then Alta, who was, had started the Shameless Sussie Press in San Francisco, and her, hus and her boyfriend at that time had come. And um, so we were sitting around in the living room talking, and Alta said, um, oh, well, you know, Bob said that you had some, you know, poems that were really that you write poems, and do you have any more of them that, you know, I, he, she had read that they were kind of interesting. And I said, oh yeah, I have a shoebox full of poems. <laughs> so I took them out, and, and then she looked, and then she and, and uh, Angel was his, her then husband, and they looked through it, and they said, these are really great, you know, we'd like to, so, and then the following day, she said, Angel and I were talking, we would like to publish the whole thing, you know, and I said, "You're kidding." And she said, "Yeah, well, you know, we the the shameless as press hasn't quite got off the ground yet, but um, we're thinking of, you know, publishing some. Uh, there was a um, a young man who was a a gay guy, in San, you know, the people who were unpublished before, you know, unpublishable uh, before, and so." She, so then she asked me if I, she could take about 20 of my poems. To, so that became the basis for Camp Notes. And they, it was pu first published by the Shameless Hussy Press in 1976.